My name is Ken Berry. I'd like to welcome you to the Sprott Conference. Uh, I'm the CEO of Northern Veritex, and this is Dave Splett, the CFO of Northern Veritex. Uh, we're here to tell you a little bit about Northern Veritex and the Moss Mine. The Moss Mine is located an hour and a half south of Las Vegas and just 10 minutes outside of the town of Bullhead City in northwest Arizona. It's a low cost, open pit, heap leach operation. We've got four investment highlights that I'd like to bring to your attention today. First, we're increasing profitable production. In the fourth quarter ended June 30th, we produced 11,365 gold equivalent ounces at a cash cost of just over $860 per ounce. We also initiated an exploration program and this drilling is intended to expand the resource and extend the mine life. It's a district scale program. Third, we're strengthening the balance sheet by deploying free cash to reduce debt. And fourth, we're positioned for M&A in the North American marketplace. The following slide talks about our capital structure. What you'll notice here is our strong relationships. We've got Mavericks Metals as one of our key shareholders. We've got Greenstone Capital as a 31% shareholder. And we have high net worth private banking individuals out of Switzerland that are holding approximately 40%. Management, family and insiders hold another 10% and the float is approximately 15%. We have 250 million shares outstanding with options of 13 million, warrants of 93 million, and a current market cap of just over $94 million Canadian. I'd like to also draw to your attention the experienced management team and board of directors at Northern Veritex. We've got access to capital, exploration success, we're a proven group of mine builders and operators. Our team includes Jeff Burns, who's the chairman of Mavericks Metals, was the former CEO of Pan American for over 10 years. We also have Jim McDonald, who was one of the founders of Alamos Gold and sat on their board for 10 years. We have Dave Farrell, who did the M&A for Endeavor Financial. And we have Dave Splett, who was the CFO for Gold Corp in South America. He was also with Mosaic and Tech. In addition, we have Mike Haworth, who is the founder of Greenstone Resources and the former head of metals and mining for JP Morgan. As our GM at the Moss Mine, we have Joel Murphy. Joel's experience was with Florida Canyon when they were the lowest cost producer of any project in Nevada. And I'm a former investment advisor. I'm one of the founders of Kootenai Silver. I'm also a founder of Northern Vertex. I've raised over $100 million to put the Moss Mine into production. I've taken it from exploration through production, construction, commissioning, to commercial production, and I'm the current CEO of the company. The following slide reviews our record production for the quarter ending June 30th, 2020. What you'll see here is revenue of $18.2 million, and this is a record quarter over quarter production. We also had gold equivalent production of 11,365 ounces. We produced over 10,530 ounces of gold and a single daily record of 167 ounces. Since the end of June, we've had days where we produced in excess of 180 ounces. So we're really on the way to success here. We also crushed a record 12,800 tons in a single day. And we ended the quarter with cash of 6.8 million US. What you'll see from this next slide is that Northern Vertex is a platform for growth. We're the largest primary gold and silver producer in all of Arizona. We're located in the Walker Lane trend, which starts up in Nevada, goes southwest down into northwest Arizona, right into the mining district of Oatman. The Oatman district produced over 2 million ounces dating back to the early 1900s. The more than 10,000 acre Moss Mine project has over 150 mining disturbances dating back to the early 1800s. In the district, there were high grade deposits such as the United Eastern that contained 770,000 ounces at over 1.2 ounces per ton. So although we're the first open pit, low grade heap leach project, there is opportunities for higher grade hits and we're conducting exploration currently to identify those high grade zones. This next slide shows you a 3D model of the Moss resource. 
The Moss Resource is an oxide deposit with consistent grade. It's got a low strip ratio and offers significant growth potential. It spans for more than a kilometer and a half on surface and is open to the west and open to the east. In total length, there's 5.6 kilometers of strike length. The resource is just under half a million ounces of gold and over 5.7 million ounces of silver. This exploration program is district scale in its scope. The Moss Mine has multiple targets which are ideally positioned for a hub and spoke development. In the center of the slide, you'll see the infrastructure where we've spent in excess of $50 million in development costs. In the peripheral, you'll see the various targets. We're currently focused on the Moss Open Pit where we're drilling on the edge of the central pit and the western pit and we're doing infill drilling. We'll be stepping out on strike to the west. We'll also be stepping out to the east extension. We've drilled down at the West Oatman trend. We'll be testing the Florence Hill and the Grapevine as well. The next slide, titled Resource Expansion, shows you a drill rig sitting right on the edge of the central pit. We've started a multi-phase program. It's underway to test high-grade value targets with a priority to add in-pit high-grade ounces. We'll be testing the Ruth vein, which dips to the north and intersects with the Moss vein, which is dipping to the south. These high grade value targets yielded up to 10 grams per ton in the early 1900s. So we're pretty excited about the results that are pending on this current 60,000 foot drill program underway. With this exploration program that's underway, you'll see a long section of the Moss Mine. This runs from east to west with numerous exploration targets. One area that we're drilling currently is the Gold Bridge Zone, and this separates the east and the west pit. We're also testing the Ruth vein, and this is an area that the old timers had mined and it had grades anywhere up to 10 grams of gold per ton. So we'll be drilling on that target as well. We'll be stepping out on strike to the west, testing the Midwest zone and the west extension. We'll also be looking at depth to add ounces. This next slide will show you a cross section of the Ruth vein and the Moss vein. On the right hand side of the slide is a moss structure. It dips at about a 70 degree angle. In the center you see the stock work zone. Previously this was looked at as, as barren rock. We're now finding out that it's mid-grade to low-grade material. So this is adding ounces. And then on the left hand side of the slide we've got the Ruth vein. And historically we had high grade hits anywhere up to 10 grams of gold per ton. So we're optimistic that this is going to add tonnage and ounces in a future resource calculation. Good morning, my name is Dave Splett. I'm the CFO of Northern Vertex. I'm the former CFO of Latin America with Gold Corp and I've been fortunate in my 30 years in the resource industry to work across I think pretty much all the metals from silver, gold, zinc, lead, to copper and gold. And I was thrilled to join Northern Vertex in January of this year and take the role on as CFO and help build the company into a mid-tier producer. What I'd like to touch on is some of the optimization projects that are going on in the Moss operation that we think will truly reward investors. We've been aggressively pursuing improvements in our mining operations to help drive down the X-pit cost per ton, which includes the selection of a new mining contractor. We're also pursuing improvements in our crush operation and what this includes is increasing, increasing our crush size from one quarter inch to three eighths inch which will improve throughput and grow our gold production. We're also building a heap leach facility, a pad three heap leach which is roughly doubling the size of our current facility which is a life of mine project and we're implementing a power line project that will reduce our power costs from 31 cents down to 8 cents. All of these projects are life of mine projects which have great potential to maintain our cash costs in the $800 to $900 range and we think that investors will be well rewarded as we complete these projects through the course of this next quarter through the rest of this fiscal year approximately this time next year. So we're really pleased with our optimization projects and our management team is fully committed 
to optimizing this operation and maximizing the investment potential. This next slide is titled Resource Growth. It shows you the continual growth in our resources and production. The top portion of the slide is our resource growth. The bottom portion is our cumulative production quarter over quarter. What you'll notice is in Q1 of 2020, we drilled 14,000 feet. We did a subsequent resource calculation which increased our resource by over 100,000 ounces. We currently have a 60,000 foot program underway and we expect by the fall of 2020 to have another resource calculation. We're very pleased with what we're seeing in our operation and our operational optimization program and we see great potential for the mine and for our investors. What we saw in our quarter ending March 31st, 2020 was an $860, $870 cash cost uh, for the mine, which in this pricing environment sets us up for significant cash flow to facilitate a pay down of the debt. And these kind of improvements such as the power line, the heap leach facility, the new mining contract, all of these things are going to help maintain our cash costs in terms of what we've experienced to date. So continuing, we think, in the eight to nine hundred dollar range. The growth strategy moving forward is to maximize free cash flow. We'll accomplish this by increasing the throughput by up to 30%, moving from a quarter inch crush to three eighths. We'll also drive down operating costs with the implementation of the ILS system at the end of July and by bringing the power line on stream at the end of September. In addition, we've got an exploration program underway with a goal of doubling the size of the Moss resource. We're targeting high grade zones within the Moss district scale land package. We'll also be strengthening the balance sheet. The Sprott loan will be paid off in August of this year. We've extended the 5% debentures for another five years at 5% interest and we'll retire the 8.5 million Greenstone convertible debenture in December. With gold surpassing $1,800 an ounce and the Moss mine production increasing quarter over quarter, consolidation has never been better in the North American marketplace. To summarize the highlights and catalysts, Northern Veritex is a U.S. producing gold and silver mine that's located in an excellent jurisdiction. We've got production growth and cash flow, expiration upside, a proven financial and operational team, and we're positioned for consolidation in the U.S. marketplace. Thank you very much for participating in the Sprott Mining Conference. And thank you for listening to the Northern Veritex story. We're excited about the future for the Moss Mine. We've got expiration upside. There's significant consolidation happening in the gold sector and we're active participants in that sector. So once again, thank you very much.